morning and welcome to Fallback. Uh, my name's Kelvin, I'm a scrutineer, uh, and I'm really the first port of call for drivers as part of their race day routine. I will uh, like to see their crash helmets, their gloves, their suits, their boots, uh, and ascertain that they're all up to a certain and an acceptable standard. Uh, and then likewise, a similar sort of function with their carts, checking the sort of safety aspects, the wheels aren't gonna fall off, the engine's going to uh, not have the throttle stick open, things of that nature, but also having a, a glance at the same time as to the eligibility of those vehicles in, in terms of uh, conforming reg with the regulations. Hi, my name's Simon Hilton. I'm the secretary of the RAF Marin Club and team manager of the endurance team. Uh, we're here at Fullbeck, uh, competing in the inter-service uh, endurance race. The race lasts two and a half hours and is open to teams from Royal Air Force, Army and Navy and civilian teams. The setup's with three driver changes, so there is a refuel stop normally mid-race. So again, we have to give everybody a job to hold the fire extinguisher, put the fuel in. It's very fraught and very passionate, but great fun as well. Uh, hello, I'm SSE King from RAF Cosford, racing for the Cosford race team, and I'm trained to be an aircraft engineer. Uh, so I race this poor car, we race with two 150cc Honda engines at the back. They go around uh, 55 to 60 miles an hour using 7 last brake horsepower each. So this one is the accelerator, this one is the brake. This one makes you go faster and this one makes you stop. So with the poor car we race endurance races which are around 3 hours long. When you come into the pits normally you have a wake check, the driver will jump out, they will refuel the car and then switch the driver in and off you go. I'm AC Harry Richards, I'm a training to be an ICT technician and I race for Team Cosford. I started racing in January this year and I'm hoping to race throughout the season through to September. Back at Cosford we race in the hangar, which is very different to racing on the track. Uh, I got into karting um, because at phase one, back at Holton we got a brief from the central fund um, and I was advised strongly to get into karting because it's one of the cheapest motorsports to do. So my favourite thing about karting is the adrenaline rush that you get as you hit some corners perfectly and then as soon as you come out on the straight and you nail that accelerator and you're getting up to 60 miles an hour. My name is Sergeant Craig Fulton, I work at 41 Squadron Coningsby and I'm OIC of the Station Kart Club. I'm also a driver in the Premier Class within the RAF Karting and Inter-Service Championship. Premier Championship, I will use two-stroke go-karts rather than the four-stroke Honda-powered ones. Uh, they're much more powerful, they've got in the region of twice the power that the go-karts have, and also much grippier tyres, and the chassis are designed to be much quicker through corners, so it's a much more physical variant of the sport when you're in the Premier class. So this engine in particular is a TKM engine. It's only got about 20 horsepower and it revs all the way up to 16,000 RPM. Okay, so the difference with Premier tyres are, these are called Mojo B5, which is a very grippy tyre used in national and international level kart racing. Um, they're much, much, much grippier than anything the endurance guys would use. I'm SSC Jamie Purcell. I'm an aircraft mechanic. Uh, I'm the team principal of uh, Waddington Vulcans Car Club. Um, and what that entails is organising everybody for the weekend. We've got our own corporate track, we're quite lucky, we've got a corporate setup at Waddington, uh, which hopefully which helps to subsidise quite a lot of our racing. So we're very lucky like that. And the RAF Central Fund and the Nuffield Trust help us mass enormously with the club. Uh, we won the championship in 2017 and last year we came third, so we're hoping this year with a bit of driver stability we can take it another step further again and hopefully take the championship again this year. So five years ago when I was uh, on detachment in Cyprus I broke my back jumping off the cliffs into the sea, which is obviously very stupid, um, but I ended up having nine months off work technically, um, I was off, off work for two months and the rest of that time I was on light duties which is uh, boring but my motivation for getting fit uh, was, was karting because I enjoy this so much that I, I, I push really hard so you could put RAF karting massively down to the, my speed of recovery